Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In this video, we'll discuss five chemist interview questions from our website. We'll go over each question and some advice on how to answer them, along with an answer example. Afterwards, if you found this video helpful, please like and share. That would mean a lot to us. Okay, let's get started. Question number one. What is the hardest challenge that you have encountered as a chemist? The interviewer is using this behavioral question to learn more about you. You should be ready with a meaningful professional story about a challenge you face. Keep in mind that your answer should be specific. Try using the STAR method, where S stands for situation and means set the scene in context, T, task, describe what your challenge or responsibility was, A, action, list all the actions you took addressing the challenge or responsibility, and R, result, explain what the outcomes were and how they relate to the overall goal of the project or company. Here is our answer example. I love to be challenged. I prefer working in high pressure situations when I have to up my game to succeed. There was a situation at one of my previous jobs when a few of our lab managers were let go for not meeting deadlines. I was quickly given a promotion to a management position and asked to get up to speed on a complex project. I took on the challenge and spent time with the less experienced lab assistants and chemists learning a new software program, reading lab notes, and spending time in the lab on my off hours. By being the student, I gained respect from the other team members and they felt like they were appreciated as an integral part of the team. It was a very difficult and challenging position to be in, but it forced me to step up and lead. Within a few weeks, we had met our deadlines and surpassed the expectations of our client. Question number two, share with us your greatest achievement. Hiring managers love to ask questions about your greatest professional achievement or accomplishment, and they expect a detailed example or story. Before the interview, write a list of your strengths, interests, and accomplishments, both personal and professional. Choose an example that is as recent as possible and somewhat relevant to the job or career. Try to be specific and talk about the results. Describe exactly what you achieved and why you feel it was a significant accomplishment. Explain how it helped you, your team, or your employer at the time. If you just graduated and your accomplishment was in an internship or a university class, explain what you learned, what challenges you overcame, and how this helped you get where you are today. Avoid giving a long-winded answer, as this will indicate to your interviewer that you are unprepared. And again, use the STAR approach. My greatest accomplishment occurred in my previous position as lead chemist in a lab setting. I noticed my fellow team members often had difficulty locating specific files and reports, which reduced productivity, particularly during busy periods. I took the initiative to implement a team filing system, had my assistant upload and scan every relevant research document and report, which we then saved to shared folders on our computer system. At the end of the month, our timesheets indicated that the time spent looking for files had been reduced by several hours. Question number three, how could you improve to become a better chemist? This question allows the interviewer to assess your weaknesses and your strengths. There is no such thing as a perfect chemist. Even the best in the field can improve in certain areas. A good chemist must possess several traits, such as good analytical skills, good math skills, and attention to detail. It's okay to acknowledge the areas that you are working on. Be honest in your response and express your desire to improve your skills. As a lab assistant, I don't get to lead very often, at least not formally. In the long run, I'd love to start taking on more responsibilities as a leader in a lab setting. This could mean leading meetings or projects, mentoring or training newer team members or other related tasks. I enjoy the hands-on lab work and that's still what I would want to be doing, which is why I applied for this position. However, I'd like to work on my leadership skills at the same time. Question number four. How do you manage conflicts with colleagues in the lab? Every office or lab environment can have conflict, but this shouldn't hinder your ability to get the job done. Your response should provide an example of a conflict and explain what you did to eliminate workplace tensions or maintain a level of professionalism despite disagreeing with a colleague. However, if this has not happened to you and you are an entry-level professional, 
could also offer an example of a conflict to resolve at university or in a volunteer position. I have found that before I do anything to address conflict, it is best to simply listen, especially as a leader. If I jump in and share my perspective first, it could make it more difficult for others to share their view of the situation. I typically try to create a space where other lab members feel safe voicing their concerns and perspectives and do my best to understand where each person is coming from. I realize that it can sometimes be challenging to reconcile multiple perspectives that maybe all be true but discordant. Question number five. What criteria are you using to evaluate the company for which you hope to work? When you are asked this question, remember that it is just another way for your interviewer to find out more about you. Describe your desired criteria with typical company characteristics such as location, benefits, company stability, and company growth. Always keep your criteria positive. Research the company you are interviewing with beforehand so that you can tailor your answer to their specifications and attributes. In my recent job search, I researched companies based not only on location, job requirements, and benefits, but also on their mission statements, company goals, and dedication to their local communities. I've been very impressed with the way that your company has carried itself over the past year and a half and managed to stay busy and retain most of your staff. I look forward to adding my talents and leadership abilities to the strong traditions and framework that you've spent years building. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it would be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to our channel. It really does help motivate us to continue creating videos. Thanks again, and we hope you stick around to watch more interview practice videos from Mock Questions.